what is up people dev sage here and in this video i'm going to be telling you about javascript libraries so i imagine if you're watching this video you have at least used some kind of javascript library in the past like jquery or react or underscore or maybe you just heard the term javascript library but you weren't necessarily sure what it was or or how it worked or how to build your own so what is a library exactly all a library is is a huge collection of closely related functions and variables the reason we use libraries is so we can use and reuse code to solve very common problems for example a library that you might be familiar with is the math library so the math library is a collection of closely related functions that we can use to solve mathematical calculations like math.random or math.round math.min math.max and math.square root and there are a whole lot of other ones um so this is a very useful library because I mean if we didn't have this library we'd have to write all of this functionality ourselves um, so that's why it's a good idea to be able to write your own libraries so you can use and reuse your code and perhaps maybe one day you would want to open source it so other developers that are trying to solve the same problems you are have a uh, an easier time so now we're actually going to just jump into um, building our own library so in this video we'll be creating a very very small library that looks and feels a lot like jQuery so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my environment here so let's get a new file and this is gonna be our main.js and let's get another file that's gonna represent our library so library.js let's go to our HTML and let's go to the bottom and link these the first one I'm going to link is our library and the second one is going to be our main.js okay so we're actually just going to hop over to library.js and this is where we'll start so libraries are actually extremely simple to implement all it is is a function and this function has a name the name could be anything the name could be uh, greet or ball or uh, fish paste but in this case let's name our function dollar sign perfectly legal name in JavaScript so that means whenever we want to call this function we would just do something like this look familiar this is the syntax for a jQuery call we're missing something this takes in some kind of selector like an ID selector or maybe a class selector or maybe just a tag name selector so we want to be to be able to pass in a selector name to this function so that's what we're going to do we're going to give this function one parameter selector we're going to hop in there and the next thing we need to do is well there are multiple approaches to to how you can uh, structure a library but the the approach we're going to take is the object literal approach which means we're going to have an object called self this object is going to contain all of our functions and variables for this library so I guess the, the first thing we would need to do is so we have a selector passed in here so we need to be able to get an element based off of that selector so the first uh, property of, of this method 
or the, of this object should be element colon and what this is going to do what we're going to do here is document dot query selector selector so element will now hold the HTML element that we get from passing in our selector okay great so now let's put a comma and let's get to our first method let's actually just return that element so I think jQuery has an HTML method that does just that so this is going to be a function I'm just gonna make it an anonymous function that's going to return self dot element so whenever we call um, whenever we make this the call will look something like this so we have dollar sign the name of the name of our function a selector let's say h3 which is going to hop in here element is going to get assigned to the h3 well, we don't have any here yet but it would get assigned to it and then we would just call dot html and that would call this method but we're missing something we actually have to go down here and return self so now let's actually go back to our index.html and let's add a few more elements here so let's add some headings um, let's see I'm gonna add five headings h1 to h5 and so let's just say we want to select this h3 and print it out in the console let's console log the value of this function and as you can see we have gotten our h3 element in this simple little library we have um, yeah so let's let's add some more functions to our library so I guess the next one we could do um, jQuery has an on function which represents our adding a, an event listener um, to our element so we're going to make this another anonymous function so what we're going to do here is document dot add event listener and this takes in the event we want to listen for which is we'll just call that event and then a callback function so here we need to actually pass that in to our on function event callback now let's delete this let's try this again let's say dollar sign and let's say we want to select the h1 and now we hit dot on because we just created that here dot on or we'll pass in click and the callback function that will be called after so what do we want to do on click let's just say we want to um, alert clicked let's save that so now what what should happen is we should click on this h1 and we have an alert pop up clicked and as you can see that's what exactly what happens and this looks a lot like jQuery this is practically jQuery that we're writing in these few lines here and all we have to do is just keep adding methods here um, there are a few more methods that I want to, to show you um, but built I just wanted to, to point out that building libraries is pretty simple pretty simple process but you have to be pretty doggone good in your vanilla JavaScript coding you have to actually know what you're doing when it comes to just writing pure JavaScript 
no help from no li any libraries or or any external things I mean you can use other libraries in your libraries but it's always a good idea to have your JavaScript basics down so let's see let's add let's add another method here and we're gonna call we're, we're gonna call this method hide colon and this is gonna be a function and what this is gonna do it's gonna do exactly what you think it will do it's gonna hide the, the element that's being targeted so let's say self dot element which is gonna get the current element that's that's uh, being referenced here dot display dot style equals none so let's let's just try our h2 let's grab our h2 here and we can call dot hide save that ooh let's see we did something wrong self dot element dot ah oh, I got this backwards it should be dot style dot display and as you can see our h2 will actually it didn't do what I expected we have two h2s I have the JavaScript libraries here was an h2 um, so that was the first element to be found so that's why that was hidden um, I expected it to hide this one but you know it's just the first value that comes by um so yeah let's let's add maybe one or two more let's try attribute attr and this is going to either set or get the at some attribute from an HTML element the element that you're looking at right now so I'm gonna take in the name of the attribute um, and the potential value of the new attribute that we want to pass in so we want to say if value is equal to null then we want self dot element dot or got get attribute name else self dot element dot set attribute name value so let's go down here delete this and let's say we want to give the h1 a class name so h1 dot attr class um let's just say hello there save it and let's inspect this h1 and as you can see we have the class of hello there attached to this h1 and you can just keep adding and adding and adding different functions different functionalities to this library and uh yeah so that is basically the gist of how to build your own library um we went over what libraries are um how are they used why are they used and how to kind of build your own mini version of a library you're probably already familiar with jquery um so yeah if you like this video uh leave a like leave uh, any kind of comments that you that you want to leave tutorial requests uh, kudos I don't know just whatever and yeah peace